Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Danganronpa V3. Today we have our third investigation. So I guess we should probably start talking to everyone first and then examine the bodies and waxworks. <laughs> that busty brain beauty has all this all figured out. Huh? Uh, you mean you know who the culprit is? What was that? Huh, the culprit? Fuck that! Hey. Switchy, do you, re you really have time to be listening to her? Wait. Hey, 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 wait! Wait, goddammit! Are we just gonna ignore my genius idea? Just what? listen to me, okay? Come on, listen to me, listen! Okay. Alright. <laughs> well, if you get a twist in my arm, then I'll tell ya. You better thank me for this. Tots. You know. <laughs> Y'all are dumber than fleas, but even you get how weird these wax dolls are, huh? They are strange. Are they for the ritual or another, another purpose? Well, then. But I figured it out uh, with just one glance. These are diversions. Could it be? Diversions? Listen up! Yep, the culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from something. Got a minute? What do you mean by that? What? How, how should I know? Isn't that Sherlock Homo's job? God. I knew it. You're gonna get me, like, on Reddit. You? What the hell? You're a waste of space. Oh, wait, that was Maggie. Maggie turned and walked away. I can't say I blamed her. What was that? What the hell's her problem? She's on the rack or something? Hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mew. Uh, I don't think I've ever said this. I said this in like uh, a Patreon chat. Uh, I, I do I do like Mew. She reminds me of some very old friends that I I, mean, I no longer keep in contact with. Um, she she is that exact personality of some people I used to hang out with. Uh, I wouldn't say I would probably <laughs> I wouldn't say I would hang out with something like this these, this day and age as I've gotten older. But she is she's actually very nostalgic to me. In, in not really a good way, but she is very nostalgic. And she does put a smile on my face, even when she really shouldn't, <laughs> with some of the stuff she says. So Angie made these wax dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. These They say the devil's in the details, you know. Let's just say, uh, see how detailed these things really are. Uh, hey, you try to look up the wax figure's skirt. Hey, hey what are you doing? Stop that. Hey. Uh, what? I just wanted to see if the dolls were wearing panties. Wait, do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend is a doll now? Ah, if you like wax dolls so much, then go fuck the doll already. Dots. I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to Mew is a waste of time. I mean, they couldn't be. Like, Angie didn't know what all four of these people looked like without their clothes on, right? So, they can't be, like, lifelike details. They might be close. Um, I'm not sure if it's okay to say this or not, but could Tenko be the culprit? Huh? Huh, Tenko? Huh? Oh, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student council. No. So you suspect Tenko? Actually. Because as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed access into the, the lab. Oh, yeah. That's right. Angie did allow members of the student council to enter her lab. Oh. Yeah, Angie had been shut, shut away from here working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That's true. That would certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student council, after all. No. It's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but since the only student council members would have been let in here... So Angie only let student council members in. That would be Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Samugi. So... You're trying to say it's one of those people. Of that group, Tenko is certainly the most suspicious. Maybe. <sighs> if she didn't try to help convince Angie, like, to stop this and had, like, an emotional, like, snap out of it, Himiko moment, I might actually see Tenko killing Angie as, like, a jealousy thing. Because, like, Himiko seemingly prefers Angie over Tenko, and Tenko is a little obsessed with Himiko. So, it wouldn't be the first time someone killed out of uh, jealousy that they call love, right? So, I could see that, but I think after last night, I don't think it's Tenko. I definitely don't think it's Himiko. I don't know. Samugi's account. But I have a feeling we'll probably be arguing that in the trial then. Gonta? Why? A murder at nighttime is strange, impossible even. Why? 
Why do you think that? Right. Because student council made rule that we no one can be outside during nighttime. Everyone should have been asleep. No way murder could have happened at nighttime. Ew. Do you really think everyone would go along with that rule? But... But it's a tool rule. Angie say he punished us if we not follow his rule. But... But the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could do what they wanted. Angie was also working here at night. Huh? huh she was! But... No way! Student council would never break own rule! Right! Okay, so it's definitely... It's not Gonta, unless he's playing the perfect simpleton, right? They should have been asleep in own room! They set good example for others! Yeah. Maybe Angie got attacked while she is asleep in room and get brought here! Gonta! If idiot. Gonta could have saved her... Only, if only Gonta saw! But Gonta was sleeping! Sorry, Angie! Gonta can no save you! I find it hard to believe that no one went outside, in spite of the student council's rules. Uh, if anyone listened to those rules, I would actually <laughs> call them an idiot. Um, we can't, we can't look at the wax doll. Yeah, if I, if I was in here, I'd be crying, like I said, but I also wouldn't listen to a cult. Like, at all. I would have been trying to stop the cult. Angie's body, she's laying face down in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you gonna take a closer look? Okay. Yeah, I was planning to. Got a minute? Well, let's hurry up and do it. We can't afford to waste any time here. Maki wasn't hesitating. She stepped past me and walked up to the body. She has no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. Um. Oh, we can we can review the wax dolls now. Okay. Uh, let's go in order of deaths. So we can start with Ryoma. Uh, Ranto, Rantaro, yeah. Four effigies hanging upside down, making the scene peculiar. Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams on the ceiling. If I remember correctly. And she made all of these wax dolls. Hey. Is this rope from the warehouse? You're right. I believe so. That means they won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten these ropes. <sighs> Maybe the student council could have should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. The warehouse does contain plenty of things that can be used for murder. That's true. Uh, um, Anyways, I don't. I know that these effigies are just wax, but it still creeps me out. That's true. The effigies look exactly like real people, not just their faces, but their bodies too. The ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. Oh, that was Suichi. By the way, why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm. I'm not sure. What is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of their way to hang up wax effigies? I'm assuming the clothes aren't wax and that she just got them from their room. Right, if they're going to do this much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? Who would do this? The culprit, Angie? Or someone else entirely? Ah, this book! The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the rituals as written, you can resurrect any one deceased a victim. I knew it. This was the motive, the Necronomicon. Hey. Angie tried to perform the ritual written in this book, right? Okay. Yeah, if we look in this book, we should learn the steps of the ritual she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. I have a feeling this is not the, uh, like, the real Necronomicon. The Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. The size and shape of this effigy is emeralded. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes of the effigy on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Then close your eyes and wait. After a while, you should feel a light tap on your shoulder. If so, that means the ritual is a success. The ashes can are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. So these are the steps for the resurrection ritual. This is stupid. Angie, Angie really believed all this crap. It's pretty obvious you wouldn't be able to re resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule out anything. 
All right, Angie. Well, actually, let's do the pool of blood first. A small pool of blood has emanated from Angie's torso. I thought she was stabbed in the neck. This can't be from her forehead. Uh, this blood is from the back of her neck. Oh, yeah. Is this... This blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Angie was killed. Maybe more. Hmm. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. Is there anything else around here? Just the back door? The door is... The, this, this door is the lab's back door. Is this... The lock is, has a sliding lock, and it's still locked. That's true. And because no one can use has used this door since we came in here, I believe Angie locked this door when she came in, and has been locked ever it's been locked ever since. Mm hey. -hmm. Hey, wait, what's this? Uh, looks there's something gold and shiny on the ta tab of the sliding lock. Oh, it's from the sword. Oh, we gotta look at the sword. Gold and shiny, could it be? Is that all right? Maki, may I see it for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding lock. So what? You want to unlock it? Go ahead. Do what you want. I carefully touched the knob of the lock, and avoiding the gold parts, and softly slid the lock open. Click. Okay. Just as I thought, this this lock will slide without much effort. Hmm. Whether you lock it or unlock it, this could be an important clue. I guess. Well. I'm curious about this rear door too. But there's something else that bothers me. The lock on the front door that we used in, to enter this room. Should we investigate the front door too? I'm going to take a close look at it. Maki walked over to the front door. Oh, but like, the sword. Katana stabbed into Kaede's wax, wax effigy. Who did this and why? You got a minute? Let me see. Uh, Maki nudges me aside, then grip the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Oh. oh, wait, this crime scene. This is a crime scene. You can't. What is it? You wanted to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do that if you don't pull it out. Because. That's what she said. Yes, that's true, but we have to preserve the scene. Maki played and paid no mind to my protest and st stared at the katana for a while. Is this? It's a real katana. Oh, it has blood on it, but there's gold leaf on it. Yeah, I believe this is the one that was on display in the Ultimate Anthropology Lab. Mm. Is that so? Okay. We can probably assume this is the murder weapon, judging from the blood stain on the tip. The edge is too rusty to cut well, but it would be enough to stab. But... but why would they go through the effort of using this as the murder weapon? That's true. Good question. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Could it be... Perhaps this is because Kyle's lab is on the same floor? They just grabbed something close? They, they may have been in, in a hurry. Well... Or maybe they needed a long weapon like this. Huh? A long weapon? Okay. My lab doesn't contain swords, or any other weapons of this length. Huh? Really? That's true. I'm not sure how Monokuma found out, but he must know I don't use swords for work. <sighs> when I first started working, I botched a mission using a katana. I haven't used a sword since, which is fine, because they're a real hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited to them, personally, just like Angie's was. But how did they know all this? <sighs> anyway, the gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hand now. Uh, okay. It must be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off this easily. You got a minute? Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I'll have to wash them later. <laughs> Maki scolded me and then stood in front of the of Kaede's effigy. Hey. I'm gonna put the katana's back where we found it. If it's too hard to watch, look away. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. I rode my gaze, and Maki stabbed the katana back into the wax effigy. By the way... Even so, why was the wax a weapon stabbed into a wax effigy? A hanging wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual, or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Hmm. Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't even wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide the murder weapon like this. What are you talking about? Then, what's the reason for this? That's... Honestly, I have no idea. Well... We should investigate where this weapon came from. We might find a clue there. Okay. The ultimate, ultimate anthropologist lab. Yeah, let's do that. I want to make sure the katana indeed came from that room. I mean, that'd be kind of weird if there was two gold leaf katanas. Alright, Angie. 
There's Angie's blood dripping from her head. Or there's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound to the back of the neck, as well as laceration on her forehead. I knew it. The killing blow was a single stab to the back of the neck. A, sna a sneak attack, most likely. Well. Then what do you make of the, this wound on the forehead? <sighs> Maybe the culprit hit her head on the uh, hit her head before stabbing her from behind. But mm, hit her in the head. Okay. But her stab wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons mid attack? Oh yeah. I suppose that would be the be necessary. Well, she said the uh, the blade couldn't slice, right? Maybe the culprit like swung the katana like a katana to cut Angie's like head off or forehead off or something. But since it's so rusted and dull, it didn't actually work? Remember. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What is going on with these two wounds? I really can't see the wound on the forehead. Huh? 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 What's wrong, Maki? Got a minute? Move. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. Is this. What's this doing crumpled underneath her body? What is it? This is duct tape, right? This. What's duct tape doing here? Okay. Okay, so... No, there's a lot of blood down there. I was gonna say, maybe she was like... Hmm. No, I was gonna say, maybe she was killed somewhere else and then dragged here, like, with duct tape. Like, her wrapped up in duct tape. Or, maybe they knocked her out and then tied her up. With duct tape? I don't know. Oh, we'll find uh, out. Um, I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Look at the hair stuck on the tape. Long hairs, Angie's hairs. Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? But I'm surprised you spotted this, Maki. It was hidden on her body. So what? It was partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that's true. <sighs> Even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up over it. Okay. Well, then it's a good thing you're used to corpses, Maki. Do you want to die? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, joking. Couldn't resist. Got a minute? You don't need to apologize. I was joking too. She says as she puts the knife back into her pocket. Didn't sound like a joke, though. <laughs> hmm. Angie bodies appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. Thoughts? Hmm. There are several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If you think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Uh, let's continue this investigation for now. Yeah, we gotta check the front door. Uh, Maki, what's wrong? So what? It's nothing important, but the only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like I'd know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, and at least that guy's useless. I agreed. Anyways, let's continue. So we gotta get out of here and check out the door. Oh, Mackie. You weren't standing over there before, right? I just wanna confirm something. When we get to the lab, you're sure the front door is locked? Okay. Yeah, positive. That was literally the last episode. I knew it. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock to open it. Yep, yeah, no, that happened literally right after. So he picked the cylinder lock open. Hey. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock beside him? That's true. It might have been impossible for him. The outside, the monocups took the key. Okay, yeah, this was at the beginning of like the chapter where they ate the key for some reason. Nom nom nom. Then. So Kokichi is the only one who could have opened the, or closed the door from the outside, right? Hmm. Correct. Only Kokichi would have been able to open and close the door from outside. But someone inside could have opened and closed the door as they pleased. Huh? So the front door was locked from the inside of the room? No. Not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in this case, the question becomes how the person who locked the door got out. What do you mean? Do you do, do the doors in Japan not have locks on them that you can lock and then close the door? How the couple got out of the classroom after locking the door? What do you mean? <laughs> All my doors in my house, I can lock before closing them. I lock them and then I close them. And then they're locked. 
that's how that's how doorknobs work. The like door handle. The, like, what am I missing? What do you mean? You just lock the door and then you close it. You don't have to close the door and then lock it. What is? Are my doors screwed up? My doors might be screwed up. I unlikely though, because. Everyone else's house that I've been to has doors like that where you could lock the door and then close it. It's not like a bolt lock. You can't do that with a bolt lock. That's different. That's not a bolt lock, though. That's a cylinder door handle lock. Art Lab's door, front door, clue, I guess. Still, it's strange that the front door and the back door have different locks. We know the culprit locked the back door because of the gold sticky paint. The front door that we came in from has a cylinder lock. And the rear door over there has the sliding on. Hold up. Does the door inside have a keyhole? How do you lock it? You don't have the key if that's the case. By the time we discovered the body, both doors were unlocked. I'm, I'm confused by this door. <laughs> In other words, they're, this is what you might call a locked room mystery, right? Locked, huh? You're right. Yeah, the cylinder lock's key was taken by the mono cubs, so both doors could have been locked from the inside. Could only be locked from the inside. Mm. But only if you rule out Kokichi's lock picking yet. <laughs> yet, right? He could have picked the cylinder lock on the front door to go in and out of the room. He could have created this locked room mystery. It's possible that he locked the door from the outside by picking it after he killed Angie. What do you mean, though? He could. What? I'm so confused. Are America locks different? I know there's different types of locks, but that just looks like a doorknob. I'm a little weirded out that it has a key on the inside and no one has the key to lock the door. So how do they even lock the door then? In general, how'd Angie do it? She doesn't have a key. You wanna hear something creepy? When I moved into this house, one of the closets has a doorknob on it where it doesn't have like an unlock on one side. It's just a plain old door handle, but there's a lock on the outside. Yeah. Think one of those like, I don't know what I want to call it like a bathroom door, but like a lot of the like house bathrooms I've seen don't have like keyholes. They have like just a little dot. It's one of those door knobs on the, the closet and the lock is on the outside. That's creepy. <laughs> That's creepy. Who were you locking inside that closet? If I remember correctly. That's true. That, thank you for agreeing, Suichi. That's creepy. That's right. Also, he appears to have. Uh, he appeared at oddly convenient time. At an oddly convenient time when he tr we tried to enter the lab ourselves. I knew it. He's clearly suspicious. It's suspicious, but that solution seems a little too convenient. Is that like the doorknob from the outside? And we're just showing it on the inside for some reason. Got a minute? Is that? Uh, is this really the time to rest? I don't think we found enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry up. You're right. You're right. First, we should investigate the ultimate anthropologist's lab. We will find a clue related to the katana. That's true. We need to check if that katana really did come from the, that place. Dots. Hmm. Something wrong, Maki. By the way. Just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? Sure, whatever. Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. Not like I like you, Baka. Not as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. It's true that Maki is a tremendous help to me. Let me say that to her. Be like, yo, girl, thank you for the help. Please don't kill me. I guess we're going to uh, Kyle's lab. It's the only other place we were even told to investigate, right? You want to go to Angie's room? Just for funsies? If I remember correctly, the Gold Leaf Katana is from... Like, right there? Just looking around for any hidden Monokumas, because... I am atrociously bad at finding them. Right here. The hilt's still there. It's just the sheath. Or sheath, hilt, whatever. They are completely different, but still. Earlier, the katana was inside the sheath. Okay. 
Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here. I'm certain of it. That's true. Doesn't that make Kyle suspicious? This is his research lab, after all. No. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here and taken it. That's true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab, too. Hi, Kikichi. Oh? Oh! What are you guys doing here? You. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with the seance? <laughs> <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess this is your signature look. Anyway. Anyway, I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Huh? Something for the seance? Yeah. Yeah, the white sheet over there. Hmm. We brought the wooden doll statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that white sheet too. What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff either. So that means... That's why I figured I'd do a little research on this seance before I got the sheet. Huh? Study? Um... So let's see. Kokiji took a look around, and I heard it was like some old handmade book. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Yeah, it says Cage Dog Village right there on the cover. So this must be it. Hmm. Let's see. What does it say about the Cage Child seance? <laughs> Kokiji flipped through the book uh, he picked up. Huh? huh. Is it this page? It's hard to read, but I think I can see the cage child in mention here. Yeah. Oh, you're not voiced? Boo! Kyle's drawing the, the same magic circle as, as the one in the, this picture. Um... Okay, let's see. In order to perform the cage child, you need five people, including the spirit medium and a dark place with no light. If I remember correctly. Just like Kyle said. First, draw the magic circle pa uh, passed down from the cage dog village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle, and rest their forehead on a stone on the ground. Afterwards, the other four participants must put the iron cage on the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. And, and finally, the cage, the dog god, must be placed on top of the cage. I see. Also, it's, it says we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations. Uh, um... The dog god? Do you mean the wooden statue dog? Yeah. When the preparations are complete, turn out all the lights and create in complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are, for each, are each standing at the corner of the room. Uh, the other participants, not including the spirit medium, will sling the, sing the caged child song. After the song, ask, is the caged child? Then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in a voice of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says. That sounds complicated. But... Complicated plans to have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether it works or not, Kyle has been wanting to conduct a seance for a while. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of these copies, I've already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Right. Oh yeah, he said he memorized every word of it too. That's probably why he left the book here, cause he could conduct the seance without it. But... But is it even possible contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> <laughs> if you're so curious, why don't you join us, Suichi? Huh? Well, you know... You'd see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know, the seance hasn't even started yet. That's true. Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? You think so? I don't understand. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. <sighs> but whether you believe or not, a detective should be there to observe what happens. As a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> now you're talking! All right. Well, I'll be waiting for you! Of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle one! Kikichi spoke as though he was inviting me to go play, and then I left the room! Hi, Maki. Hey. You can deal with the seance. I'll head to this crime scene to re-examine the clues. Yeah, we don't really have much, do we? <laughs> We have a list of student council members, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're the ones that did it. The duct tape makes it look like she may have been moved or restrained at some point. So yeah, it's... I don't know. Where are we going? This is not the way we need to go. Down here? It's in the middle room, right? There's no one else out. Yeah. Oh, we can go to the computer room. Let's go play some Xbox. Hmm. 
Hello. So, Kikichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Suichi. <laughs> You're most welcome to join us. Oh. Is what I would like to say. However, only five members, including the spiritual media, may join. Oh, man. Oh, man, what a shame. Well, Kibo, you're out. Me? Why me? Hmm. I, I agree with Kukichi. I was thinking this for a while. Listen up. Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. Oh. To be honest, I had thought the same. Your help was appreciated, Kibo. Why you? Uh, don't any of you feel guilty for kicking me out after forcing me to come? Hmm. That's why we're apologizing! Do not mock no one has apologized yet! Oh, man. Fine, fine, our bad. Just don't get mad and start shooting electronic waves at us. How rude. Why would I do that? <laughs> Stop whining, Kibo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. <laughs> fine! I won't forget this betrayal, Suichi! I didn't do anything! What did I do? Yeah! So then... So now Suichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Do you understand? Do not enter the magic circle that I've drawn on the floor. It is drawn with pure, uh, purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when stepped on. Um... You drew the magic circle with salt? That's correct. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more, more, more likely to succeed. Well then... Also, it's... it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may unleash a curse. Uh, okay. Got it. I'll be careful. I'm surprised you were able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Do not worry. I have the entire document memorized, so this circle, so ma this magic circle should be perfect. Of course, I also have the caged child's song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? I've copied these words on the song, uh, the words to the song here. Please commit it to memory. Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you'll be unable to read in the dark. Huh? You have to memorize the lyrics now? Oh. You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be, to be up to the task. Here's the melody. I listened to Kyle sing the song and did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Okay. Alright, I think I've got it now. <laughs> your memory is exception, uh, extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Well then, let's begin the ritual right away. How exciting! <laughs> Yay! We finally get to see Angie! So then... Before that, let's choose the spirit medium. If sh it would if it, it would work best with a girl. <laughs> then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit would go in, would go in. No. No, I'll do it! Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. <laughs> That's right! You want to talk to Angie, right? So I'll be the spirit medium! That way, that way, you can say goodbye to her. And after you finish saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Please. Tanko. That's... By the way. Also, Himiko, let me just say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. <laughs> You'll feel better when you do. <laughs> well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. Damn. And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Yes! Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. Mm -hmm. I think you've trained too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. It seems like the two of them made up. That's good. So then... So now, let that we've decided on the spiritual medium. Let us begin. Yes! Alright, Himiko, I'll see you later! Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path, so as not to disturb the magic circle. You're gonna disturb the circle, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch your steps, since it's so dark in here. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Why? Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. Just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? I mean, good question, Himiko. Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? Oh my god. This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Piece of cake! 
I guess? So then... Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left to be done. Let's see. First, we must place this iron cage atop Tenko. I shall leave that to Suichi and Kokichi. Please keep in mind, walk carefully so not to disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me! I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong! I shouldn't have lied. I'm way <laughs> too weak for this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Hold on! Don't just drop it on top of me! I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. Please don't jinx us! <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I shall take that role. All right, everything is prepared. This is Tenko, weird. How are you doing? Well, I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is... How are we going to do that without disrupting the circle? Even with four people, it's still really heavy. Oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton! No. It is not much more than 175 pounds. Oh, really? You guys are weak. <laughs> Come on now. Totally Himiko, uh, I can get, and Kokichi, I can also get because they're kind of tiny. But Kyle, Suichi, come on now. I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. I mean, aren't they the same thing, though? Are you sure Fake? it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The iron cage was made specifically for seances, so it can hold this weight. Okay. I guess that's fine then. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing it. I think Himiko is actually disturbing the salt right down near her feet. So then... This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Got it! Understood! I will not say a word until the seance is over! Okay, everyone, I'll see you guys after the seance! Well then... The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your, uh, go to one of your choosing. Um... Okay, I guess I really don't have a choice! We each stood in a different corner. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah, got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. So we're just gonna be quiet for the rest of the game then? After the seance is done... Actually, it's dang it, Rapa, so this might actually work. Again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Okie dokie, then I'll blow out the candle now. How... Last thing are these candles. I walked up to the to the closest candle and blew out the flame. The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black darkness. So dark I couldn't even see my own body. Overcome my instinctual instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall back to my corner. Then began the singing. At last, at last, at long last. Kyle led us all in the caged child song. Young guard, dog, and little lost girl, sealed within an iron cage. At mountain's bottom, within the darkness, at last, at last, at long last. 
the worst song I've ever heard. How many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? Clunk! Oh, that's not a good sound. We're not gonna stop! Run far away, or did it eat the little girl? At last, at last, at all last. Yo! What about that noise? Reach out and touch Wrath. What does that mean? Why did I get an achievement for that? We finished singing the song, but I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was that? Say. Is the cage child, Angie Yonaga? You've been calling. Now it is the medium to answer. Dots. Say. Is the cage child, Angie Yonaga? What's going on? Say. Is the cage child, Angie Yonaga? What's the matter? That's wrong. Why won't Angie answer? Hold on. Himiko, I was very clear that you were not to speak, yes? Mm. But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um... Maybe it failed? Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What? Is that okay? Well... J just for now. Confused, I walked along the wall and back to the candle. I managed to strike the match and light the candle. Oh, God. If that... Dog has caved in that cage. Oh, oh, there's blood. Hmm. Oh no, there's blood underneath the white. You could see it for a second when they shift the candle. Can not candle uh, camera. What's going on? Why did it really fail? That cannot be. That, that shouldn't be the case. The seance was perfect. What? Is Angie not coming? Is, is that still Tenko in there? Hmm. Tenko? I see, yes. I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> she follows orders well. <laughs> but how about we let her out now? Hold on. Wait, dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove the objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may still be in the medium's body. Man. Ah, seeing how this was a failure, I couldn't think of any spirits. I don't, I don't think any spirits sticking around, but whatever. You can see, yeah. Oh no, Tenko. Just like setting up, Kyle instructed us how to clean everything up. We were moving. We were carefully. We were careful to remove everything exactly in order of uh, Kyle's directed. Now, I will remove the sheet. Kyle pinched the fabric gently and pulled it aside. Oh. Perhaps something is amiss. Yeah. Himiko ran towards the cage as a, at a sprint. <laughs> Himiko, I told you not to step on the. But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and. Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage and lifted it, and... Really? <laughs> Who would have thought they'd, there'd be another victim during the investigation? Maybe Monofini's green puke was predicting this strategy. Ah. ah, puke's color is normal now. I guess it was a pred it was predicting this. For now. Everyone, please assemble in the seance room. Oh, Tanko. You were a little obnoxious, but I actually thought you were kind of a good person. The second body discovery not so played. It didn't take long for everyone to come running. What? Tenko, seriously? <laughs> what is this? How did this happen? How did this happen? Ten Tenko, Gonta, so sorry. Gonta, no, could protect you. Got a minute? Suichi, explain the situation. 
I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, that's... I, I don't know. What's happening? What on earth? I'm surprised, too. I never thought a murder would happen during the investigation. Um, I guess for now we should maybe start the investigators room right away. Say... The culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko, yes? Huh? Huh? If so... What happens in the event that there are two murderers by two murders by two people? What if there are two blackens? Well, we need to find them both at the class trial. That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen in that scenario? Yeah. Huh, what would happen? Uh, Monodam, what would happen? Um, what, what would ha happen? Why do you look so lost, Monodam? I thought you were gonna run things instead of Daddy. I, I never expected something like this to happen. I don't know what to do, really. I don't know. Oh, oh man, they're so disorganized. If they can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't know that what to investigate. Father, Father always knows what to do. We should speak to. We should ask him for help. No way. Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us. Dots. Huh, it's all our fault, Daddy. You don't like that. Yeah. Huh? It's all your fault, Mona. It's all your fault, Monofini. Daddy. Daddy, help! Why don't you? We don't know what to do on our own. Ah. We gotta use the power of love. That ought to snap him back to normal. That won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. That's right. That's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. I don't understand that because you've never we've ne you've never been loved before, Mata Mata Dam. Oh shit, dog. Are you next? You're next, aren't you? Daddy! Daddy, I love you, so please go back to normal. Father! I wanna see you, father! Love I love you with all my heart! <laughs> huh, you're making me blush. Here I am! I'm back! Were you good while I was away? Oh Thank no. You so much, my adorable darling. Oh no. With you running the academy, I was able to fully enjoy my relaxing vacation. <laughs> oh, that tickles. Father's intense love is getting me all soaked. Uh. Daddy, your tongue feels amazing. Uh. It's better not awaken anything in me. Uh, I think it already has. Man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take time off to relax. To tell you the truth. Normally, most companies won't even let you take time off to go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is to just leave whether you get permission or not. Um. Huh, wait, so then, who's this ba Bali then? Yeah. Oh, uh, just a part-timer. I got to cover me while I was gone. Hey. Here's your pay, like we agreed on. Now take it out and get uh, now take it and get out of here. Hey. Huh, I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. Huh? Now this nuisance is out of the way. What were you, t you guys talking about again? Yeah. Ah, that's right. What happens when you're voted? Uh, what happens to your votes if there are two black candidates? I'll well, I have to answer for that. I have an answer for that. It, it first, it's first come, first serve. Huh? First come, first serve. Hey, um... The black who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. Okay. In other words... If the Blacken who killed Angie isn't the same one who killed Tenko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the Blacken. <laughs> Basically, Tenko's killer was wasted a kill, and Tenko herself has, is a wasted of a victim. Now then... That's messed up. Oh, I'll add this to the school regulations so you can review it later. Go ahead! I'll also upload it to the Monokuma file. You do your best to investigate this murder too! Boy, everything is going so smoothly now that Father's rerunning things again. Leader's got to be able to take the safe action. Indecision is what is just the worst. Daddy, Daddy you're glowing. You're glowing like a lamp. Dots. There's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. For as long as you live, I'll never let any of you go. So for the two that are already dead. Hmm? He just left us behind while he was saying he'd never let us go. How nice! That's why he's so amazing. Please lick me some more, Daddy. Kronos, that was... Oh, oh God. 
Dots. Kill them all, Monodam! Um. So, to make sense of all that... Listen closely. If both murders have different culprits, then our vote will determine Angie's killer. Nope. But we don't even know if there's if there is a different culprit, do we? Let's see. True. We should investigate Tenko's death as well, just in case. How exciting! <laughs> Finally, things are heating up. I'm getting excited. Piece of shit! Ah, oh, you fucking psycho! Shuichi, this is bad. Huh? <sighs> this is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tenko was killed. Everyone's upset and confused, and I'm in no shape to help out right now. You know. But this is where you need to step up! Listen up. Listen, Suichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Yeah. Alright! Alright, then let's check the Monokuma file first. Is this gonna be like another hour long investigation? Uh, the victim is Tenko Kabashira, the ultimate Aikido master. The body was found in the middle of the empty room on the fourth floor. The time of death is approximately 11 a.m. The only visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. How? Hmm. Stab wound to the back of her neck, the same as Angie's cause of death. Hmm. Doesn't look like a coincidence. Maybe it is Angie's. Maybe it's Angie's curse. Oh. Curse? Jeez. God, not again. Ah. Curse! Hey! What? Curse! Kaito, calm down. Yeah, Maki might kill you, dog. No way there's a curse! Don't screw around! You're the one who's screwing around. Oh, she sounds like this. Do you want to die? Oh, slam. Adele sound reverberating through the room. <laughs> Are you okay? He's bleeding. My bad. My bad, Sushi. I started to feel a little bad, uh, but for a different reason. <laughs> I'm just gonna get some fresh air, so I'll leave this to you and Mackie roll. <laughs> She's like, oh god, my <laughs> I'm throwing up my organs. Uh, Kaido left the room still a bit wobbly. Um. Should we resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. That's correct. True, we haven't timed the mourn Tanko's death, so as our own lives are at risk. This is... That's true, but Angie and then Tanko... And to think earlier, I was suspicious of Tenko. I'm sorry, Tenko. How can this be? It's all Gonta's fault. Gonta failed to protect friends' death. Oh my god, friends again. Yeah, no, wait. Is that... That might be what happens. I don't think Tenko was the one that killed Angie, but now that she's dead... I was gonna say, I guess that's not her, but as they said, the culprits are different, yeah? What if Tenko killed Angie, and then someone was like, I'm gonna get black into this and leave, and kill Tenko? I don't even know how that's possible, though. With the dog and the cage on top of Tenko, and it being pitch black, we're, do we have night vision goggles here? Dots. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because I'm a detective! He strikes a pose. Resume. Okay. Well. It's too dark in here. We can't investigate even if we wanted to. Got it. Going to bring candles from other rooms to make this room brighter, okay? No. No, that will not be necessary. Ah. Yeah, that's not necessary at all. Huh? Why? Listen up! Show him, Kibo! Show him your new power! New power? His eyes lit up. I, Mui Ruma, the gorgeous girl genius, have installed a new function in Kibo. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. <laughs> <laughs> shine on, shine on! Shine on, you crazy fucking diamond! I guess. Oh, man. man, what a lame function. You should have just made him like a transformer or something. It's okay. But it's right now, so we should hurry and investigate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. That goes flashlight function. Yeah, no, that can't. I, was, I know that's going to be brought up in the trial probably is like, could he have done it? One, he wasn't in the room. Two, we would have seen the light. Shmoogie. I said the things that made Tenko look suspicious, and now this. 
I'm sorry, Tenko. Stop it. Cry later. What? Huh? Because. Crying will bring Tenko back. And if you don't investigate thoroughly, we'll die. Okay. I need to find the truth and pin down the culprit for Tenko and for all of us. Dots. I guess. You're right. Tenko would want us to figure it out so she'd have no regrets. That would be the best way to apologize. There's a... A board? Maki? Well... Do these floorboards seem a little unstable to you? They're tough to walk on. Uh, um... The floorboards aren't nailed down. They're just lying on top of cross pieces. That's what Gonta told me. That's probably the, the, the reason they're a little unstable. They're a little unstable. Hmm. Hmm. They've only been laid on top. That's why they're unstable. Well. Well, the boards are fairly thick and sturdy. I can't imagine they come loose easily. Is this... But if someone wanted to remove a floorboard, they could easily do so, right? Okay. Yeah, I suppose. Himiko, how you doing, girl? Dots. Hey! Hey, Himiko! Hey, Himiko! Be strong, Himiko! Wait! Kanta, if you shake Himiko that much, you're going to break her. But... But she's not talking. It's not like Himiko... It's like Himiko not even here. Like I thought. She must have been really shocked over Tenko. Let's leave her for B for now. Mm. Okay. Himiko. Yeah! I mean, assuming she's not the one that did it. Why? First Angie, then Tenko. How can this be? Gonta's so ashamed. Why Gonta not protect friends? Leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. Uh, that's a quote from something. That cannot be. Why? Why did this? I knew it. Kyle, I know the murder was pretty shocking. But of course. Of course, I'm shocked about that as well. But why did the seance feel Kyle? We performed with all the steps flawlessly. He seems more concerned by that than the murder. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, if we perform the Kate Child again in some Tenko spirit this time... This is stupid. Cut the crap. Just tell us what happened during the seance. Both you and Suiji were present, right? Did she get killed during the seance? I see, yes. True, it may be best to move past what happened. To know why the seance failed. Is that so? Whatever, just hurry up. At the time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko, the spirit, spiritual medium, position herself as a turtle within the magic circle as so her head touched the marker. Then Suichi and Kokichi placed the cage over Tenko. And after that, I placed the white cloth over the cage. Then all four of us placed the wooden statue of the dog god on top of the cage. Afterwards, we stood in the four corners of the room. Kokichi and Suichi blew out the candles. Yes. Finally, we sang the caged child dog, uh, caged the caged child song. The seance should have been completed, but oh, oh now that you mention it, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. It's a mystery to me as well. I thought someone might, may have tripped, perhaps. That was a pretty loud song, sound for someone tripping. Perhaps Kyle knows something. What do you mean? And then what happened? Yes. We called out to her, but no reply came. I had Su uh, Su uh, Su uh, Suichi and Kokichi relight the candles. And then we removed, the, uh, removed all the items from within the circle. First, all four of us removed the dog guard cage. Then I took off the white cloth. And then Himiko ran over the cage, and the moment she lifted it... Hmm. Why do you look happy, dog? Then it sounds like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. No. But it'd be, it, would it not be difficult to, in such darkness? Besides, she was inside the cage, yes? Then... Then when was she killed? Well, that's... Yeah, that is a problem. I see, yes. There is another problem. Oh. And that is, why ever did the seance fail? I simply cannot figure it out. Perhaps. Maybe someone moved from their corner. Did someone else sneak in? What's the point? Obviously, since the seance was clearly a sham... Dots. Maki never was one to pull her punches. Let's see what here we can look at. We got the body, we got the 
Right, let's talk to these two over here. I know they said Mew was a waste of time to talk to you, but she's fun. In the... <laughs> What? This investigation is over and shut. <laughs> and it's all thanks to me, then, for, for giving Kimo his new function. Now then, cunt effers, uh, FU's killer, cunt, oh my god, cunt foos. God damn it. <laughs> Killers, obviously, <laughs> one of you stupid assholes who signed up to do this bullshit seance in the first place. No. No, not necessarily. Huh? Not seriously, the seance was clearly set up to lure her in and kill her. How could someone who isn't wasn't in this room kill her? Could it be? So you believe that Tenka was killed during the seance? Fucking moron! There's no other possibility, Shiffer Brains. God, you don't even know that? It's true that Tenka was alive before the seance began. It's the point of no record. Uh, yeah, don't speak. Are you saying she died before? No, no, that that funk was definitely her being killed. Tango answered Kyle, so at that point she was most certainly alive. But when the candles were lit, she had already been killed. That means she was killed in the dark. I'm positive. What time exactly was Tango killed after the candles were blown out? That may be an important point of this case. It was when the thunk happened. It has to be when the thunk happened. Oh, man. man, what a lame function. You should have made him like a transformer or something. That's it? Okay. Dog God. So what is dog statue call uh, use in the seance? I believe it's called Dog God. I believe that's a character from New Vegas as well. During the seance, this wooden statue was on top of the cage. It took four of us to remove it. Hmm. This wooden statue is pretty heavy. If I remember correctly. I said, uh, Kyle said it was about 175 pounds. That's about the weight of two girls. What do you know about girls? Have you even touched a woman besides your mother? And also, she has a point, dog. Women can weigh over 175 pounds. Uh, um, what? I'm kidding. I'm kidding, anyway. Is this? I don't think she was kidding, dog. If this heavy thing was on top of the cage, then Tenko wouldn't have been able to get out of get out so easily. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right about that. That didn't sound like you were kidding earlier. <laughs> No, I think she was actually quite upset at you for saying something like that. Wait, hold up though. Just gotta check something real fast. You don't weigh like 175 pounds, do you? Could be all muscle. Where are you at? Okay, you're 97 pounds. I guess two girls here, yeah. Or two Ryomas. White cloth. Uh, it's the white sheet we use for the seance. This was placed on top of the cage. It was the one that Kyle removed. Is this... This cloth is pretty thick. It's similar to the window curtain, but it's completely opaque. And on the back... Looks like there's a blood stain on it, right around the middle of the sheet. But... but there's no holes in the fabric. Which means Tenko wasn't stabbed through the cloth. Okay. Okay. She was stabbed while underneath the cloth. Was she stabbed through the floorboard, maybe? We don't get to check the... Oh, what was that? Hole in the corner? There's something I still need to investigate here. Yes, I know, I wasn't there. There's a small opening in the corner of the room. It doesn't look big enough for a person to get through, but still. This? A hole. Looks like there's a space underneath the air, too. Oh, hold on. I can see something below. It looks like something dropped down there. What? Something dropped down there? Got a minute? If we check everywhere else, why don't we go under the floor and see for ourselves? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, and... Magic circle? The magic circle Kyle drew on the floor, well, at least it was. Oh, it's been completely stomped over. It's supposed to be... I suppose it was unavoidable. Well... Was this drawn with salt? Yes. Whenever I perform a seance, I always use salt. What? Are you feeling alright? You sound ridiculous. Ridiculous. I've performed many successful seances. Why, I've even had spirits enter my butt. Right Shut up. I don't want to hear about your stupid delusions. 
Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. It's kind of refreshing, actually. But... In any case, with all these footprints, I can't make out the original circle. So what? We'll find out in we'll, we'll find out in K Kyle's lab. It should be written in the dog uh, cage dog village document. Hey. Isn't that right, Kyle? Dots. He seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. All right, Tenko. No, oh, uh, cage. This is the cage used in the seance. There's blood on it. It looks like the, uh, it looks like it looks to be around three feet high and five feet wide. It's a pretty large iron cage. Okay. But enough for a person to fit inside. I would not fit in that. During the seance, Kokichi and I covered Tenko with a cage. We were supposed to remove it as well. Or we removed it. Oh, but Himiko did. But it was Himiko who rushed in and removed the cage first. Hey. Hey, look at this. Is this? The blood stain on the uh, bottom of the cage. Probably Tenko's blood, yeah? That's true. Yeah, I imagine so. The splatter must have been... So she was killed from underneath? The splatter must have been made when she was killed. What do you mean? How would that happen, though? If you stab from the bottom, wouldn't the blood come out from the bottom? Like, faster than the top? I guess if you stab fast enough, it, the, like, the momentum might make blood spatter in the back. Huh. Which means Tenko was killed while she was inside the cage. Okay. I think you're right. Tenko went under the cage before the seance. But when the cage was lifted after the seance, she was already dead. She was stabbed right when the cage was lifted. That would explain the... Uh, explain the blood stain, right? Huh? Perhaps she wasn't killed during the seance, but the exact moment the cage was lifted? That is a possible... No, it's not. There was blood on the ground. We already know there was blood on the ground before the cage was lifted. Rock? There's a rock next to Tenko's body. This must be... Yeah, it's the marker. We don't need all these flashbacks, to be quite honest. It's fine. Tenko had her forehead on the, this rock, hunched over. She had to make herself small to fit in the cage. Board? Ah, this floorboard is loose. And it's right... Uh, it's the the one right under Tenko. Why? Why is this floorboard loose? If I remember correctly... It wasn't like this before. It must have come loose during the seance. Why? Why would it come loose during the seance? But... A floorboard this thick and heavy wouldn't have come loose easily. Then someone must have loosened it on purpose. Uh, Tango? Tango's dead body. It looks like her last breath, uh, she took her last breath crunched over like this. According to the Monokuma file, her only injury is the stab wound to her neck. That wound was failed. Hmm. This must have been. This must have caused instant death. I didn't hear a scream or anything during the seance. Oh wait. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Would Tenko really keep her mouth shut despite the pain? No. Nope. Her death might not have been instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. Huh? What do you mean? What's the point? You were concerned about that, right? Okay. The wound this deep, the victim is too shocked to do anything except die. Uh, um, You're speaking from experience. That's obvious. Of course. Quick deaths are my specialty. Well then, that makes sense. By the way. The real question is, what was she killed with? I don't see a murder weapon around. You're right, I don't see an obvious murder weapon that could be the that that could be a clue. Could be a clue, huh? Hey! Mikey, we finished investigating up here. Perhaps we should check on the floorboard? By the way. It's pretty dark down there. We should... Uh, what should we use for light? That's true. Let's bring a candle. With Kibo's light from up here, that should be fine. Okay. And I'll go get a candle. Remove that floorboard so we can go down. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I pulled off some of the floorboards near the hole and took the candle from Maggie. Then we carefully made our way through the hole and under the floor. That is blood. This is a lot more spacious than I thought. You can move pretty easily on all floors. Or fours. Okay. This looks... This looks... Uh, let's look around for clues. Well... 
It'd be pretty stupid if we found no clues after crawling down in a dusty place. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. What? Some of the wood has corroded and is broken off, so you can see into the next room. Hey. This is the wall of the empty room, right? Looks like there's wood along the wall. The part was rotted away. Hmm. It looks like natural rot. This hole wasn't made intentionally. But I can get into the next room through here. That's true. If I remember correctly, the room next door is also empty, right? And the culprit would have it could have gone from one room to room by moving under here instead of using the hallway. No. True, but it would have been difficult moving around on all floors. Or on the floor. Under the floor. Um, we did alright because we had a light. Without it, it'd be pitch black. That might make it impossible to run around in here. No. Nope. Then they could have used the light, like we're doing right now. Well. True. Let's use a light to move. Uh, they use a light to move around under the floor. Is that possible? I'd imagine we would have been able to see that. Oh. oh, look! Part of the cross piece has uh, that supported the floor, but is cut off. That's true. It's near the loose floorboard that, and the portion missing is from the same width too. Ah, from what I can see, that's true. It wasn't broken off naturally. It was cut by someone. There, there should be a saw. There should be saws in the warehouse, so they could have used that. The question is why? Mm -hmm. Another crossbeam is is supporting the floorboard, so it might not fall if the position is uh, the portion is missing. Then... So what purpose did they they, they serve? The forward underneath Tenko's body is loose, and the crossbeam supporting it has been cut. If the culprit did all this, then why? Huh. Uh, blood? Dried blood. It's a blood stain on the ground underneath the loose floorboard. But that's pretty far from where Tenko's blood is dripping. It's under the same floorboard. Just a different sh di just at different ends. Why is there blood here? Mm -hmm. Hey, the back of the floorboard has blood on it too. Oh. You're right, there's a little bit of blood on the underside of the floorboard. What do you mean? Did Tenko's blood splatter the hair when she got killed? No, it's That's dried. True. I wonder, I can't really be sure. Okay. But these blood stains here are completely dry. They must have there must be some reason these particular stains are dry. Because they've been here for a while then. Huh. It's still dripping. Ugh. Blood dripping from the gaps in the floorboards. Fresh blood. This is definitely Tenko's. Okay. Never mind. This is a little sickle, yeah. There's a sickle here, and there's blood all over it. Okay. The blood on the sickle is fresh. This is it. This is the murder weapon. Is this... This came from my research lab. Huh? It did? Well... The sickle can be used to assassinate a target. Or a sickle. It can be thrown without losing any lethality, and you can hide it under your clothes, too. Well... If she was attacked with this, she wouldn't stand a chance. The blade is about six inches. That's right. And since Tinka was in a cage, she wouldn't be able to be able, she wouldn't have been able to defend herself. But... But even if this was our murder weapon... Even if this is our murder weapon, how did the culprit attack Tenko in the cage? The blade would could fit through the gaps in the, the cage, but could it reach her neck? That's true. The cage is three feet high. If you if you were to stab with it with a six inch blade, uh, well, it would it would depend on Tenko's posture, but I don't think it's possible. And her posture is in question. Mm -hmm. Hey, if this weapon is down here, the culprit must have thrown it away. That's true. Perhaps after killing Tenko, the couple threw the sickle underneath the floor in the dark? Or they could have been under the floor the entire time. Either of those is a possibility. I think we finished investigating here. Is that alright? Maki, you want to head back up? <sighs> Glad you asked. I was starting to get fed up with all this dust. After Maki and I crawled out from underneath the floor, we put the floorboard back. And return to our investigation. Dots. By the way. 
You've only been investigating this room. Are you sure this is wise? Huh? What do you mean? Because. If Angie and Tenko had, had different killers, then the Blacken we need to vote for is. You're right. The culprit from the first murder. The culprit who killed Angie. That's what Monokuma said. Then... So instead of investigating Tenko's death, shouldn't we be investigating Angie's? Uh, okay. Yeah, of course. But. But this is bigger than the killing game. For the sake of the two who died, I need to reveal the truth of both their deaths. Hmm. I understand why you feel that way. But if you plan on investigating the other crime scene again, we should probably hurry. So, we should go back to the other crime scene? Is that what you're saying? When I came to the hallway, oh god, a scene more surprising than I could imagine unfolded. Oh no, is there another dead body? No. Really? Okay, fuck you too, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Did I surprise you? Were you gonna scream and cry in terror? Huh? What are you doing? Oh? Oh, sorry. I was just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, this is real blood. Why? Okay, so what are you doing? Hmm. I get curious about something, so I decided to search the empty room next door. Then suddenly, <laughs> I, I stepped through the floorboard. Huh? You stepped through the floorboard? That's so mean. Jeez, that got me good because of this. I tripped and fell pretty hard. You got a minute? If you're going to lose consciousness, do it after you tell us everything. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, my bad. I guess there was no Crosby supporting the floorboard, so I just kind of stepped through. <laughs> <laughs> a bad luck! The Crosby was gone, does that mean... That's it? Oh, man. Huh? Confidence! Dreams! That's what the killing game is all about! Killing game fans! Hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes! Okay. Baseball, soccer, mobile games! They're all nothing compared to the killing game! I guess? The killing game just can't be beat! No, this, this is gonna be dark, but wasn't there a soccer game where, like... Didn't, like, a bunch of fans... Rush the the field once and like decapitated a ref or something like that. Was it a ref? There was like a, a football game, not like not American football, soccer. You know what soccer is? It's when you kick the ball. But there was like, was it in Brazil or it might have been in Europe somewhere? This might have been some, something that I read online that was completely fake. But I thought at one point, like years ago, there was like a game where like fans rioted and. Someone, whether from the opposing team or like a ref, got their head ripped off. Behold, students, I have to Google that. The entrance to the trial grounds. <sighs> Guess time's up. Oh, huh, man, it's because of you guys. I didn't have enough time to check something. Huh? Where are we trying to check? See. I wanted to research the seance again, so I brought this document with me. But unfortunately, I have a concussion now. I couldn't find anything new that could be used as a clue. Uh, Kyle perfectly recreated the seance as what was written in this document. He drew his magic circle the same exact way as in this picture. Not only that, he seemed to have the same exact tools too. So I'm just, nothing suspicious about this whole thing. Well, I wanted to check the finer details, but I'll, I'll tell you later about it. <laughs> At the class trial, so see, see you there. Pukiji left, the blood loss clearly affecting his footing a bit. Uh, um... Uh, let's go to... Dots. That's true. Yeah, okay. Is Maki nervous? I see. She's even... She, even she gets nervous sometimes. What are you staring at? <laughs> Dots. I uh, just... Admiring your pigtails, that's it. Uh, okay, so this is gonna be... Interesting. I don't know. So, clearly the sickle killed Tenko. Clearly the katana killed Angie. Now, from the duct tape and the dry blood, can we assume that Angie was perhaps killed in the middle room as well?
Yeah, that would explain the duct tape. But why would you... No, maybe she wasn't killed in the middle room. Maybe she was just, like, captured in the middle room and then she's bound with... Because I was say, you can move someone, like, with duct tape. You, like, duct tape them to, like, something and then you drag it. But... There was a lot of blood. I guess she was probably still bleeding out. But no, we would we would have... We would have seen a lot of blood, like, on the way from the middle room to the the art lab. So maybe she wasn't killed there, but she was knocked out. Blood on the floorboard. I guess that could be responsible for the, the gash on her head. I thought maybe that was the katana because it's blunt. But how would they do that, though? I don't know. But two cross pieces were missing in both rooms. So, whatever the murderer did in the middle room, they, were, they did in another room as well. Because I don't think the floorboards are connected through... Huh, maybe they are, I don't know. Hmm. As, I don't know, I, I'm... There could be two different culprits, but part of me is thinking that there's not. But I don't have any proof of that. It's more of like a gut instinct type deal. I am not going to lie. When Tenko died, I thought maybe it might be connected to Himiko a little bit. Like maybe she thought Tenko killed Angie and then got revenge. I don't think I don't think Tenko killed Angie. Like I was saying, if not for the scene last night where she was actually like emotional and trying to like get Angie to stop and Himiko to start acting like her normal self again, I probably would have thought maybe out of jealousy. Like if she was acting really like creepily and stuff like that, I could see that happening. But I don't see her killing Angie. I don't see Himiko killing Tenko either, unless she like lost her mind and thought Tenko actually killed her without any evidence, but how would, how would that actually work? Because after seeing all the evidence, it can't be Himiko, right? What would Himiko do? Use her magic to set up the room to, like, cut a cross piece out, get dry blood down there, get a sickle out of uh, Maki's lab? I don't even know how that's possible, actually. So I'm assuming that, that initially I thought she was stabbed from underneath the floorboard. And... That has to be it, right? Because there was blood. But here's the thing. She gets stabbed in the back of the neck, right? But she could have got stabbed through the front of the neck, through the back of the neck. But the blood splatter would have been more projectile in the front. If she got stabbed in the back, the, the projectile would have been in the back, yeah? From the impact? So that's why I'm assuming, because of all the blood spray, she would have been stabbed in the back of the neck. But how do you do that? Right? You can't be that accurate. Like, even if the floorboard was loose, if they had just the floorboard with Tenko on it, reached up with the sinkle, sickle, and hit it, then, like, hit, hit the back of her neck, we would have heard more than just a thunk, right? I don't know. I actually don't I don't have any ideas how this actually played out. I assumed Angie was murdered in the middle room and then moved to the lab. Was she knocked out or killed in the middle room though? I'm assuming knocked out and then brought to the lab and then killed in the lab because there was a lot of blood in the lab but there was no other like trail of blood. But why the duct tape? I guess could have just like bound her to a floorboard and dragged her there. She was unconscious, but she is she's not that heavy, right? She's like what ninety pounds? Uh, no. Where the hell are you? Yeah, she's literally ninety pounds. So that's not that heavy. So I don't know. You can just pick her up and carry her. 
Well, okay, not everyone here could do that. That's not fair. They're all children, and no one but Gonta works out, and I don't think Gonta killed anyone here. I mean, maybe he did. I don't know. I guess we'll find out next time, because I actually have... I don't really have an idea of, uh this <laughs> at all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below if you're not subscribed yet. One of my videos so I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.